this man I'm speaking about, they are not some supermen. They are ordinary men helped of God. The problem there is this now. You may be hearing me now and be thinking, Kai, Apostle is talking about some men there. Apostle is talking about them. Apostle Igu, them Apostle Righteous, Apostle Paul, Prophet Adams, Pastor Chidi. We never know that what I'm talking about is that the devil is wise and he knew that because your future seems to be locked upon and it seems to be unveiled to you, he will leave you in such a way that you feel that you are too small for God to work with you. And you may never wake up to do anything in keeping to kingdom oppression. You will look at yourself and say, me, I'm not qualified. I'm not the kind of person that God can use. In fact, the kind of people that God can use, they have to be able to pray 30 hours. They must be able to study the Bible 20, 24 hours. They should be able to fast, try fasting for 10 days. And by your own mental capacity, you are bringing yourself to a point where you feel, God cannot work with me. In the days of revival, God did not look for strong men. He looked for men that are weak, that he can make strong. Why? Because revival can only be aroused by men of strength. But these men of strength, we are not made from strength. They were made from weakness. In fact, one of the greatest enemies of revival is the strength of men. That men come to a point where they feel they have achieved it and they can do and undo. Go and study the writings of Dr. Robert Lyadon. All his writings on God's generous men that did mighty things. All of them began to fail the day they become strong. All. Not one. All of them. I read about the story of a man named Alexander Dowey. Alexander Dowey in the city. There may be many pastors there, but they don't, they don't exist. He's the only one that exists. He was the angelos. The angel over that city. A prophetic unction rested upon him that God can do nothing in that city until that man is mentioned. A time came that in fact, when he stepped into the city, demons go on break. Alexander Doe was so powerful that the government had to create a railway station. A railway station to pass through his own church. Imagine this is Shekinah Avenue. Let's say where the overflow are like this. A railway station have to pass through there so that people can come from different cities to just have access to come for the service. They break houses just to create road to the church for the man. Alexander Doe packed all kinds of cities. Shut down different regions. A time came, his associate came and told him, you are the Elijah of our time. In fact, after you, there will be no man again that God will ever anoint. In fact, with this thing that you are doing, after this one, God must just come. He became so strong that he believed that God has done everything he can do to mankind through only him. And at that very point was when he became proud and began to dress like Elijah of our time. Change his dressing. Change everything. It was not long enough a time came. All kinds of calamity began to befall him. And his infirmity was being revealed. From the point of weakness, he was made strong. And now he returned back to strength. And he forgot that the way to stand as a strong man is to understand your weakness. And ensure that your weakness is being helped by the Holy Ghost so that you can remain. A plane does not off its engine when it's already flying. The engine remains on, although it's already at a cruising altitude. You must understand that when you go high, as you are high, that's when you need to be able to navigate the more. Do you realize that you need to be more conscious when you are driving, when you are speeding more? Just when you thought you are enjoying the driving, that's when you need to be more conscious because you are about to enter to a way. Because just when you think, ah, I'm getting it, you go off. Why? Because a time comes when men feel that they are too big for God to lead them. Mysterious fire came and burned down the entire city plus his church and everything. A day come when men felt that they are too strong. I remember the story of the Azusa Street Revival that was pioneered by William J. Salmon. William J. Salmon was a one-blinded eye man. I watched most of his interviews. 
a black man that went to America to, to study. Bible school, he went to a Bible school. And because of the nature of the racism there, they isolated the man and put him in a place where he cannot associate other white men. No, in time past, this black is a disadvantage. It's now that black is strength. Before, now lie. If you are a black man, you come to class where there are white men. Oh, those of you streaming in the US, I appreciate you. They were, I think Europe was more terrible on that, I think so. You can see only you will be in the class, they will put projector, the rest will be inside the place. Or they will say you sit in that overflow. So those in overflow are those that are black. And all the men that were inside the class, the Holy Ghost never make wonder with them. The Holy Ghost look upon a blind man that was put outside, a one-eyed blind man put outside. He was the one that God encountered. And when God encountered him, Azusa Street Revival became a reality. It was said that in that time, the entire street, men, they can, no church can accommodate them. The entire street was filled with men praying everywhere. Every day they come seeking God. Every day, the entire street. White, black, red, blue, green, yellow, everybody come. Why? The fire of the Holy Ghost has come. See, all this isolation, people are isolating from you because they have not seen fire. When they see fire in your life, they will come. No matter their color. Men anointed of God attract all kinds of people. When they say you are white, black, yellow, it's because they are not seeing grace. When grace is there, nobody will think of your color. How many Babalao has a poster of their face? Just know that it's a man in a bush. Just keep going. Just keep going. When you meet him, you will solve your problem. So you see elderly people that are professors climbing with lantern to a mountain cave looking for a man that knows the ways of the spirit. They don't care to know his face, whether he's fine or he's green or he's yellow or blue. In the days of revival, men walk wonders and men approve of them. You see, there are times when God approves of men, but there are times when men salute men by their approval. In the days of revival, it's too visible for men to see what God is doing. When God begins to walk in your life, it comes to a point where men cannot deny it. That is when it's referred to as a revival. That moment when men awake to the ah, something's going on here. We know this boy, he was a carpenter's son, but now we cannot deny the impact of what is going on in his life. He doesn't look like a carpenter's son again. It means a revival has happened. Now you are awakened to your ordination. Jesus Christ was known by men. But the day he awake to who he is, he now realized that if we keep on calling this guy, we may die. 